Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not providing buy or sell recommendations. I'm just giving you my opinions. Please do your own research before investing. Hello, Crypto Cowboys. Welcome back to my channel. Emeka here. And today, welcome back to another crypto investment video. Before I get any further, please remember to hit the thumbs up if you like the content and don't forget to subscribe. I make plenty of these type of videos all the time, helping you become better traders, investors, and entrepreneurs. Now, if you saw my last video, you know that when Bitcoin hit 12,000 for the first time, I put out a video saying, protect your downside. What did I mean by that? Well, essentially, I was saying you need to put in a stop loss order so that if the market drops, you will not lose all your profits because the market has been going up for a while now. Uh, it is more than tripled in value, 3x, 4x over the last two months. And so many of you, if you have been invested over the last two or three months, you've made quite a bit of money and you don't want to lose all that money in search of the big payday. You want to keep some of your profits and live to invest another day. So use a stop loss order. So if you followed my instructions in the last video, then you would have saved a lot of money. Now you saved the money, but in order to be a really good trader, you should also know when to get back in. One of the benefits of having a stop loss order is you protect yourself when the market drops. Another benefit of it is that you can get back into the market at a more favorable price and actually make more money by doing it. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I have my cryptocurrency trade sheet on the screen right now. So let's say you bought Bitcoin, you invested $5,000 in Bitcoin, and you got into Bitcoin when the price was $7,000. So that would give you approximately 0.7 Bitcoin. Now let's say Bitcoin rose to $13,000. Your $5,000 investment would have grown to $9,269, which gives you a profit of $4,269. Now many of you actually made this type of money because Bitcoin did make this type of move in the last month or so. But anyway, in my last video, I said protect your downside because I know that the cryptocurrency market is very volatile. And as you guys saw over the last two days, Bitcoin dropped from 13,000 all the way down to 10,000 before it's starting to rise again. If you had a stop loss in the market at 12,000, you would have banked a $3,556 profit. Even if the market had dropped all the way down to 10,000, you would be assured that your $5,000 investment would have given you 8,556. So you don't lose. But not only that, when the market drops, it's also giving you the opportunity to get back in. So let's see what that will look like. My stop loss was hit and I got out of the trade, so I made $8,556. So let's say now I have $8,556 to invest. But now the market, which was 13,000 at some point, had fallen below 12,000 to 10,000. So now I'm gonna put in that $8,556 investment, but now I'm gonna buy it when the price is 10,000. Whereas before my investment gave me 0.7 Bitcoin, now my investment is giving me 0.8547 Bitcoin. So I actually get more Bitcoin than I had previously for the same investment, right? And that's because the price fell to lower than I got in. So that's why you got to take advantage of the lower prices and get back into the market. If, for example, if I didn't do it like this and instead I decided to wait until the price came all the way back to 12,000 where my stop loss order had hit, then I would essentially not have taken advantage of my stop loss. I would not have gained anything by putting in a stop loss order. I should have, I might as well have just not had a stop loss order in there and just kept the trade even when the price went down and just kept it in there and waited till it came back up. No, in order to be a sophisticated trader, in order to take advantage of the volatility in the market, when you get taken out of your trade in a stop loss order, you get back into the trade at a more favorable price and that's how you make the money. So instead of getting back into the trade when it came all the way back up to 12,000, no, I'll get into the trade 
when it fell to 10,000 or 10,500, something like that. Because then I can get more Bitcoin for exactly the same amount of money. So that's my little crypto tip for the day. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. I'll have more videos for you next time.